All right, guys. So here's my 254s. We're gonna take the new one. Uh, let's see if it starts. I've been having issues with the battery. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes you gotta push those out. But nope, battery's dead. So we'll have to jump it, which is no problem. Got my chemical in. They forgot to deliver it to me the other day. So we're gonna hook up the enclose. I got the sprayer equipment in here. But we're gonna take out the sprayer real quick because we gotta go get this yard mode for the guys. It's a pretty good size yard. You'll see it out there. And I've got to clean up this mess in here. Look at this, guys. Gas cans. Got all kinds of chemicals everywhere. That's empty. I gotta fill that up. Um, there's a sprayer, but we'll get it going here in a minute. So we gotta hook up real quick. Guys, if y'all ain't running airbags on your trucks, oh man, you guys are missing out. Uh, I've got them on this one. Y'all probably seen them, but there they are in there. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bump this up to set it on five, so we'll go to 30. And then I'm gonna bump it up to 40. That's about all she's going to give so. guys say anything about crossing your chains I cannot cross them because they are too short they will they'll catch here I crossed them the very first time and I heard a loud pop and it had come or maybe it's this other side but, but when you cross them they catch right here they're too short so we don't cross them that's fine if uh yeah if it breaks off we got more problems don't worry about chains so air conditioner cool seats and I love this truck got the ISO tunes on charging um, so give me a minute guys let's see where we got on temperature 99 now it was a hundred and something but uh let me uh get this stuff loaded and I'll put you back on all right guys we're off I know y'all hadn't seen me mow in a long time, so I'm gonna get some footage of mowing. I had to jump start the, the mower, and then I went ahead and filled my water tank, so I've gotta do some spraying tomorrow. Probably gonna have to go to Napa and uh, get a new battery, because uh, that's the battery that came with it when I brought it a couple years ago. It's got 400 hours on it, but uh, something wrong with it. I guess if you're running it constantly, it starts, hopefully, because I'm about to find out. But if not, if it sits a couple days, it goes dead. So, uh, that's batteries for you. But, uh, but anyways, we're going out in the country. I've got a yard I do out here. Uh, I'm about an acre, maybe. And they're going to have to do the backyard because they got to get the 36. Uh, that's the only thing that fit back there, zero turn wise that I've got. But at least I can knock out all the big stuff for them and then they just get their mow that real quick and then edge everything so they can get home since it's already it said it's cooking today and uh, so we're gonna do some mowing and then 
tomorrow I'll bring you along with me. I've got to go to Mountain Park, Snyder, Altus, uh, get some spraying done in the morning because now that we're reaching 100 degree camps, uh, we've got to get everything done early in the morning. Um, besides some fertilizing, uh, you know, I, I run a slow release on certain things so I can run that. I don't have to really risk about burning anything. I don't really like doing it regardless, but um, I'd rather get it down in the morning where it's cool still. So we got rain coming. Uh, at the last minute, I got a call from a customer in Lot, one of the big acre and a half properties we do up in Calm Valley. They're wanting to spray and fertilize, and uh, just called me at the last minute. I was wanting to get to it today because we're talking storms and rain again, but I ain't no way I'm gonna make it. Uh, Lot is about an hour from and I got too much to do around here. So main thing is helping these guys. But uh, we'll have to catch you some other time. So, but anyways, guys, we'll get this done. And then, man, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I said, it, these 100 and something degree temperatures, we hardly, rarely ever get them in the beginning of May. So as long as we're getting rain, we'll be okay. But if we're not getting rain, this grass will dry up quick because we haven't even hit summer yet. And that's what scares me, but that's another good thing to remember, guys. Do not solely depend on one thing. Um, I have multiple ways of making money. If the grass goes dormant because the heat or the rain, we ain't get no water whatsoever. Uh, I've got several other things, of course, the fertilizing and all that junk, uh, spraying, pest control. Uh, last night I was out. I, I'm pretty sure I was getting bit by mosquitoes, so tonight, guess what? I'm gonna get on Facebook and start popping my ads up for mosquito control. Last year we were we were doing them at uh, for an average, you know, 10,000 square feet because you're not spraying a whole yard. You're basically around the, the house, bushes, patio area. We were doing about fifty dollars a pop, but this year, uh, what I was buying, I buy it at one gallon jugs. Uh, they gone up thirty-two dollars on me since last year that I brought it. So we're gonna probably set our, our prices around 75, 80, I don't know, I was thinking $90. But this is a every three week treatment, every 21 days. So I, I'm trying to make it affordable, but yet still um, still I'm profitable about it. Because I don't ever like doing anything just to break even or I'm making, you know, say off of one application that I'm making 20, I, I wanna make sure that I'm making a big chunk of that because it's not, it's not worth your time to go out there and spray this crap on people's yards and if you're only you know you're only making 40 50 bucks off your yard well i don't want to say 40 50 bucks because of that that's what i would be making when you break it down um i, I gotta look at how much i can't remember how much you mix it again and then that way what i do is then i get the cost so say the jug cost me 75 dollars or no, let's see, 56, yeah 70 75 no so we would be yeah so what i would do is on the jug, it's one gallon, so that's a uh, hundred and I think was it a C64, 124 ounces, I believe, is one gallon if I remember right. Yeah, 124 ounces. So, so if it's um, say for my little mixture, one full tank will do around a, sm a small area house. So for every tank that I fill, say if I'm putting 10 ounces, then I got to divide that by 124, and I got to figure out how much how many times I can spray with that unit of mine um, per fill up for the gallons that I got. I don't know, I just confused my damn self. I divide it and I break it down and then it, it gets me, so if I do, say that jug allows me to do 10 yards at $90, that's $900 off of a $75 jug, $80 jug. So, that's how I average it out, top deal. Um, because it, it it's, you can do about 10 yards, I think. So I wanna say it's, you might be able to do more. I can't remember if it's 20 ounces or 15 ounces um, that you have to mix per, that thing's two gallons, if I remember right. We'll look at it here in a second. Um, so basically, I just divide how much goes in there. And then, so we'll charge probably, we're probably gonna be between 80 and $90. Um, per application per 21 days and uh, that that mosquito thing it, it's, it's good money it's easy money real easy 
we we you last year we did the um, synthetic and all natural because last year was my first year getting into it and I, I went with the all natural all the customers seem to like it it's easy to sell there's no harsh chemicals and of course you're spraying this stuff on people's patios their furniture anything they got out there you need to spray it because that's what repels the mosquitoes and all that and of course it also kills it carries it back and then they end up dying but the all natural one you know if there's pet bows there's anything out there it's you don't have to worry about it and then the difference is like when you get that shit on your skin i wear long sleeve shirts i try to but the synthetic one man you can feel it picking at you i mean it, it burns compared and then the all natural one don't it smells really good too so that's what we're using this year that's all we're using last year we mixed them up but that's all we're going to use but it's not a very big window that you have um you know you, you might be busy that one month maybe last last year i was busy for about a month and a half and that was it and then they were gone uh, they came in and man they were thick and then as quick as they came they were gone and that's it you're done but um you know like i said it's it's very easy to sell because a lot of these cities like where i'm from they do that mosquito treatment but that don't work worth the crap and stuff um it, it might help a little bit when they smog it or fog it no it's fogging They'll drive a truck around the blocks and just at night fog and everything, but it don't help because it's not leaving a good residual to where when you're treating a house, you're 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 putting a barrier block on that specific house where when they're fogging it, um, all it doing is going out and killing the mosquitoes. It's not leaving the residual because they're driving down the street. They're not getting in your backyard. I'm sure it probably creeps back there. Like I said, it kills them, but it's by the next day they're back. So I don't know. Um, they may be using something better, I don't know, but but that's what we use, so it works really good. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fire that thing up tonight and and, uh, and go from there. Let me set you guys down right here. Get my U tunes, ISO tunes. I mean, it's been a minute since I actually mowed a customer's yard. I mean, I mowed my grass, but I haven't mowed. Uh, it's been a while since I mowed a customer's yard, so. I'll try to set you guys up somewhere. I don't know where I can set you up. Um, I might set you up over there for a minute and see. Um, but let me, let's get this over and over. Another wonderful windy day in the great state of Oklahoma. I don't think we're the only ones to talk about. I mean, everybody's getting this wind. Now, guys, keep your fingers crossed. I hope to God this, this mower starts because if it don't, I have no way of jumping there off. I've got to get a battery pack jump cable thing. Mr. whatever you want to call it. So it's three gallons. I don't know if you can see that. Three gallons filled up. And can't show you what I'm using. Sorry. It took me a while to find this stuff. So this mix is four to eight four to eight ounces per gallon of water. If you're infested, 16 ounces per gallon. So we'll run it at eight. Yeah. And that'll usually cover at eight ounces per gallon to 16, covers 35 to 7,500 square feet. Apply every two to four weeks. We always do it every three weeks. So it'll work good. Got it. I don't have too much fertilizer left. Got some 007 for flower beds. So let's uh, get you guys set up over here. And, and uh, old Rove 